Philippine Navy's first missile-capable frigate, the future BRP Jose Rizal, FF-150, is moving closer to join the naval fleet. Outgoing Navy Chief Vice Admiral Robert M. Pedrad, who will retire in early February, said that they are in the final stage on evaluating if the upcoming warship has met the requirements in the contract. Actually, we're done with the sea trials. They have tested everything and it's done. There is some fine tuning in the weapons systems, he said. Tactical Data Link 16. But it remains to be seen whether or not the combat management systems, CMS, or the brains of the ship is finally compatible with Tactical Data Link, TDL, 16, a military network used by NATO and Allied forces to exchange data in real time. The Department of National Defense and Armed Forces of the Philippines are aiming that its various platforms would be set up with TDL-16. The Philippine government signed a deal with Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, for the construction of two frigates for P-16 billion in 2016. It was the selection of the ship's CMS that triggered a controversy in late 2017. The Philippines Navy's technical working group and project management team had selected Tactical's ALES for the CMS, which met the requirement of TDL-16 compatibility. HHI recommended two brands of CMS for the Philippine warships, Tactical's ALES and Hanwha Systems. It first offered Tactical's ALES to the Navy, but later suggested to use Naval Shield of Hanwha Systems, which was not yet compatible with TDL-16. Hanwha Systems previously committed itself to developing the TDL-16 compatibility by 2019. But in May last year, Hanwha said it would only be possible by 2020 because of the issues between Korean Armed Forces and U.S. requirements. M. Pedrad, who assumed the post as Navy Chief in late December 2017 after the controversy on the frigate project broke out, said he has yet to receive an update on the TDL-16 compatibility with the CMS of the frigate. The issue on the CMS with HHI and Hanwha is going well. It appears that there are no problems, the Navy chief said. I think the CMS is not yet fully integrated with the entire weapon system. The CMS needs to be integrated with all the systems of the ship and that has yet to be completed. It will integrate their radars, guns, missiles, torpedoes, he said. Once these are all integrated, it will be inspected by the DIAC Technical Inspection and Acceptance Committee, he added. A senior officer privy to the frigate acquisition project said the BRP Jose Rizal should be compatible with TDL-16 during the next round of sea acceptance tests in February. HHI and Hanwha are confident that they can prove compatibility with TDL-16 during sea trials in February, he said. The warship is expected to be delivered to the Philippines by April or May this year. M. Pedrad said the final inspection would be conducted by the TIAC once it is delivered to Subic Bay. Once it has passed the evaluation of the TIAC, only then it would be commissioned by the Navy. M. Pedrad said they will send some of their personnel to South Korea this first quarter to undergo training in one of Korean Navy's Incheon class frigates. A retired Rear Admiral of the Korean Navy will command the ship when it sails to Subic Bay for delivery. Our Navy personnel can only man the ship once it arrives in Subic. From there, we will test if the ship will operate with an all-Filipino crew, the Navy chief said. The second ship being built by HHI, the BRP Antonio Luna, FF-151, is slated for a September 2020 delivery, 